Did you want to fix your SSL error? Well, I'm here for you. In this video, I'm going to explain to you step-by-step -step guide how I'm going to fix this, my whole website that we've used in many videos. I'm going to fix the SSL error that has been there for weeks. Because I have tons of websites, I hardly notice that the website is expired has expired. The website SS SSL expired and many things on the website decide not to work such as the pictures here and some other things let me scroll down a bit and you notice that most of my images are not really showing up i'm going to use cloudflare for this example so let me quickly show you how i'm going to set this up so click on the sign up button here and i'm going to put in my details which is my email and my password to get myself started i click on the create account button and i should get started with that i use the old email of the same website to make things easy i don't have money to make this uh, example for you guys so i click on the cloud fear here and also i input the website url which is the deepreview.net so loading up here is going to be a little details of how much i would love to pay which is their plans but as you know guys i said everything is still going to be free and cloudflare offer the free service for all of us so you can use this free service and click on the continue button here so let's click on the continue button since there is nothing more we are about to do here. so a quick scan is going to go through i have to add that side and click on the continue on the following page because they've gathered enough details about my website and they know that i'm using nameship so I'm using Nameship for this example. This page is very important. We need to keep it to ourselves because we are going to change those details of Nameship to these new details of um, uh, Cloudflare. So let's go back to my Nameship account. So I've logged in into my account here and I will be going into all uh, my custom, my DNS section here. So I click on the manage, scroll down a bit and I'm looking for the advanced um, section okay this is it and um, it, okay custom dns here then i will have to copy the provided dns by the uh cloudflare then paste it here paste then i have to go back and get the second one here and also paste that one also here very important guys so with that it took it usually take 24 hours for it to propagate i'm clicking on the save button here so we can just chill for a bit then come back to this page then click on the done that we've input those details so it's kind of very easy that way we click on the get started button just to confirm everything we've done so far to make sure everything is in place and um, click on the get started then okay this is fine okay let's just hit the save button okay very okay yeah we need to activate the http redirect that is going to help us to redirect from http to https so now always use https very important you activate that and you click on the save button very simple guys the minify is not important because uh, we don't have to touch that part and this part to just click on the save button we don't have to touch anything so far so i think that's literally everything we have to do in this part of the video so now what you have to do is to go back to our own website which is our own wordpress website to do one or two things here so let me take a glance through again to confirm everything is properly done okay i think we are good now guys so let's let's head out to our website then i have to log in into my wp admin as you can see now let me put my detail then we have to scroll down a bit i'm in the back end of my website and under the plugin section under the plugin section add new plugins so this is going to help us we are, there are some plugins that is going to help us trigger and connect with it the first one i'm installing here is the cloud fear i search for the cloud fear then i'm installing the flexible flexible ssl for cloud fear so this is going to help us connect faster so the second one i'm going to connect here is the really simple ssl so this plugin is going to help us to 
install SSL fast. So now I click on the install certificate, it's going to automatically start installing certificates of the SSL onto my website. So now I'm done and I checked it. I select the domain, uh, the host here to name ship and um, activate next. So this is going to do take time. As for me, you notice that I got this little error saying that my website uh, can't install the SSL. And here is why. I have to log in into my cPanel here. If you check under my installed website, you notice that I still have a deep review there that the SSL, the expired installed SSL initially is still there. So I have to delete it here, uninstall it completely so that the new one can work. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say here. It's very easy that way. So now with that out of the way, I have uninstalled it. It said the SSL is done. Now let's click on this link and it's going to work automatically. My SSL that I've been setting up in my backend initially is automatically installed. Viola. Guys, as you can see, this is very easy now, guys. So our SSL is ready and everything is set. Let's go back to our dashboard now. Uh, we have to relog in because we just installed a proper SSL now via the Cloudflare. Very simple steps, guys. So now I've logged in back into my website back end and I have to click on the activate SSL button again. You are going to see that it's going to work this time, this time around. So it's very simple step that you can use to uh, automatically activate your SSL. As you can see, we are done with the 60% done. But the problem is that the SSL is not totally done because this is just Cloudflare giving us SSL. We have not connected with our host. Let's now connect it with our host now. So going back to Cloudflare, there are some little settings that we can just get from SSL uh, from Cloudflare by clicking on the SSL slash TLS part here. Okay, now let's go scroll down a bit. You notice that um, uh, no settings here that we can just work with. We can use the flexible for the initial setup, but the full is what we need. Then scrolling up back, we need to click on the origin server. Uh, the origin server is going to give us the ability to click uh, create a new certificate so the new certificate you don't have to do anything much here so make sure it's your domain and this is the sweet part of it uh, we are going to be having check this part of this uh, video let me scroll down a bit to show you this part 15 years of active SSL is going to be on the domain on the domain name guys so let's click on the create button so this part is the ca bundle part so now we have a certificate generated i have to go back quickly back to my c panel then i have to log in searching for ssl uh the ssl is going to help us if we search for the ssl so i need to click on the ssl and tls part so that part the generated ssl certificate and the generated SSL certificate um, uh, private key is what I'm going to use in this part. The CM bundle part, I really don't need it. If you need it, I'll link a, uh, I'll put the link in the front part of the video or maybe some other part of the video or in the link, uh, put it in the description for you guys to actually enjoy or read that part too. So I'm selecting the domain that I'm installing the SSL on here. And also let's go back to uh cloudflare and copy the certificates that they generate for us so click on the copy click to copy part here then go back to our website cpanel part of it then paste it here now let's go back and copy the private key private key yeah sure very good so now let's paste that part here for every one of us so you can just scroll down like for me i don't really need to do anything that much so i'll just um, click on the install certificate for myself because I, I don't really need to bother myself because the ca bundle uh doesn't really need much a uh, problem so but if you need it this is what you have to read you just follow the same step i'm going to give you uh the guide on how to make this work for yourself so you can follow all these steps here to get it done for yourself you understand what i'm trying to say so let's go back to my own website now all right clicking on the install button here then um viola our ssl has been installed and clicking on okay 
closing different tabs then let's quickly take a glance through on our ssl certificate here we can see the year years here we have like um 2036 that the ssl is going to expire so that is a very good job done to confirm our ssl i will have to do some test run what do you think guys so let's check the ssl checker website to see if our ssl is really working fine so i'm going to i'm going to paste the url here then check uh it's loading up guys so it said the ssl is properly installed and if you check well you notice that the ssl is from cloudflare you see that the ssl is from cloudflare so that's it guys if you enjoyed the video do well to subscribe to my channel so i'll link other hosts that i use in the description